Hi there. I've been working on these guys and I uh, well, showed them around. I got some question about these uh, purity seals I've been making because they look a little bit different from the ones that I've been making before. And they have a bit more texture than, uh, than the other ones. The other ones are more smooth than these are. And I got some questions about how I make these. So let's do a quick tutorial on that. And all you need is a uh, bit of green stuff. This is freshly mixed. I don't usually wait before uh, using any, any of it. A um, bit of water, sharp knife, and two flat surfaces. So what I do is I pick out a bit of green stuff. Roll it out a bit. Just to have roughly the length of the seal that I want. And then I put some water on the surface, we'll rinse it through it, take up my other surface, and just squish it between the two flat surfaces. All right, pull it apart. Now I have a smooth flat. piece of green stuff to work with. First thing is I want to cut it into ribbons. I can do the same for uh, tabards or scrolls. Uh, I mean the process is just the same. Um, but I'm showing the purity seal there. So I think I can even get even more out of these. Just like that. All right, so uh, and, uh, the ends need to be flat as well. So this would already be a good start for purity seal, for any purity seal. I can just stick these to a model and uh, be done with it. So this is roughly the method that I used before. Now what I do for the new ones is I take my sharp knife and I start uh, putting little dents into the, the edge and do it a bit random so a bit more here and a bit less here and then a bit more here again and a bit less and a bit more and some more here and some more here all right and that's one end and then the other side some more scratches here Two more here. So that's the, the sides. And then the final thing that you need to do is uh, put some lines like over the, the top from edge to edge, roughly. And also put those randomly. And that's about it. So now I have my surface. So it's, it's one sided now, right? So the other side is still completely smooth. If I just stick it to a surface, it's okay. If it's a, uh, a purity seal that's hanging, uh, the back side might show. So you might need to repeat uh, the process for the other side. But for what I'm going to do now, it's, it's okay. Because what I do next is I pick up, uh, I cut it in half because it's a bit too long for what I want to do. I pick it up and I just stick it to the surface where I want to stick it to. And I can uh, get it into shape a bit. Purity seals are never perfectly flat, so you just bend it around a bit. Until it looks nice. Yeah, so now I just press the green stuff purity seal to the green stuff cloak. If I want to make sure that it's really attached well, what I usually do is I show this in another video. I take a piece of card, I take some super glue, I uh, put the super glue on the card. Then I take a uh, small wire, a thin wire, 
I dip it in the super glue so that I have a little bit of super glue on my wire and I touch it to the edges of the purity seal. That way the, the super glue will seep into the, the space between the purity seal and the surface and then it sticks. So that's what I did to this one and it's, it's very much stuck. And what I also did is after that I uh, sculpted a little bit more fur over the top for this one. And for the other ones I usually uh, add a small purity seal. Like the, the, the seal itself, the wax seal. The way I do that is like this. I just take a little bit of green stuff. Shape it to a um, small ball. Put it on top of it. And then I take a, uh, a soft shaping, clay shaping tool and I just press it into the green stuff. And then I have a wax seal. I should have used a little bit more, I think, but that's roughly the idea. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.